Hi, so you know when I started to record this podcast, I wasn't sure what's exactly going to be the title of the podcast and now exactly going to be the direction of it. I just felt like that I really need to share um, about a certain point that I'm going through now in my journey as a, as a female entrepreneur and you know like when you prepare and you create certain type of content, everyone thinks that you're always like on a certain high and it's always like who and you're fun and you're happy. Uh, but it's not always the case. And I, and I, like, I'm wondering, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one who, who feels like this. And for those of you who actually listen, like, I wonder if you also feel the same, you know, that there's the moments that you actually do things, but you're not actually doing them because you're in a certain light, happy, happy and smile and all good. Um, but you do it because you don't have any other choice kind of, right? Um, and I just want to share like about like how it's going like in my head because I really feel like people not sharing enough how hard it is to be entrepreneur and like there's a lot of benefits in it because you own your own boss, you manage your time, um, you know, you do something you love. There's a lot of things that you can look at this, but on the other hand, like, for the first time ever, I took some time off um, because I went to visit my family and then I came back and then I had a visit for my family. So I need to take like in the last two months, like at least like three weeks time off. And you're finding yourself that for the first time that for me that I take it, I took it is, okay, now I'm realizing it that, you know, um, I've created a certain gap. Now I need to close that gap and how does it work? And how do I find a balance on this? Because like up until now, I wasn't taking any time off. So I was fine. You know, I was, I was working. I had my routine. I had my stuff. Things were coming in. I knew exactly what's happening. But then you take some time off and then you kind of lose track a bit, right? It's you're coming outside of your balance and you're coming out of your routine. And then you feel like, okay, what am I going to do now? Am I going to be able to get enough money? Am I going to be able to um, get more clients? Uh, what am I going to do with the business now? And then you kind of like get into so many type of different thoughts in your head that it's kind of getting hectic. And especially as a female, like I don't know for you guys, but especially for female, like that overthinking is just crazy i can even get it in my dreams that like i can see the confusion as well uh, over there and it's just annoying and it's tough and like then it makes you sick and guess yourself from the side of like is it gonna be like this every time i'm gonna take some time off uh what do i do with this maybe i should not take some time off what do you do but at the end eventually we're all gonna need to go through that part in our journey so if you haven't started um that journey of becoming an entrepreneur and you're thinking about it so there's something for you to bear in mind and if you're already on that journey um you know it probably took you as well some time to figure out how you do this how you can take some time off, how you manage how you do the planning um, but again, in life, you not always can plan stuff, right? Because I wasn't planning to take uh, some time off. Um, when my dad came for a visit, I was so excited that he decided in the last minute to come for the first time visit me in South Africa. It only took like around five years. <laughs> but it finally came and I was like, okay, I'm so excited. So I need to figure out how I'm managing. So I was finding in between time to go and do some lives and to prepare a masterclass on YouTube. And on my flights, I was uh, writing the ebook uh, that I've done. So, you know, you're finding in between. But then on the time you're not working, it's kind of creating a gap. And then you're asking yourself seriously all the questions. And you're second guessing. Because when you get to that low part, um, when you go down the hill, that's when you start the overthinking and asking yourself, should I do it? Should I not? Should I stay in the business? Why do I need to, you know, you can find maybe a job. And then even when you take some time off, you know, you're getting the paycheck at the end of the month. So like, that's easy, right? Um, but I must admit that like, even in those times that I feel like that I'm not sure and what to do, um, I somehow found my power in me and then I do it. Like yesterday I woke up feeling so drained and not in the mood to work. Like literally like I wasn't and I said you know what I'm just gonna post something on Instagram and then I said you know what and then like I look at something that I wrote a while ago and I said 
you know what it's just the right timing it was saying like um, it's a beautiful day so there's no like room for excuses like it's not like you cannot so so you know what maybe I should so then I saw something on YouTube and then out of nowhere I've discovered there's something new on reels and I found myself from waking up in the morning without a mood to work um, preparing a real video and on the same time creating two videos for my YouTube channel in two different languages and promoting it and doing it and then I have a client meeting and stuff and somehow the day became so packed that I only like late at night finished working um, but then you know again I woke up today saying like oh, I'm not really in the mood and then you someone still finding the power in you um, and I guess what gives me the power is that I know why I do what I do and I think that is super important if you can connect to why you do what you do what's the reason behind it that's gonna remind you every time when you are about to lose your motivation or you're not in the mood to do stuff or you really like you like done and you drained remember the why I don't know why I do what I do I do it from different reasons I do it because I love it. I do it because I know that the easy way for me to be will be to give it up and go find a job and do that. And I'm not a quitter and I want to do it for myself. But the most important thing as well, the why I do it, because I want to make an impact. I really want to take my knowledge and expertise and share it with others. I really want to see other businesses succeeding, other entrepreneurs um, taking their business to where they want it to be, uh, making their dreams come true. Like, that's my dream. If I can get more and more people to get their dreams come true, I'll be happy. And when I get a feedback, like even in a day like this, I just received a feedback about the ebook that we created, uh, me and another lady. Um, and I was like, wow, okay, so you did something good. You made an impact on a person and they're loving it and it's helping them. So you're doing right, so keep it up. And I think if you actually open yourself to listen, to listen to the universe, the universe communicate with you. It will send you the signs. It will help you know when not to give up um, and how not to let go of stuff. I was even on the same time um, getting to my Instagram and someone said like as a and I, and I literally shared it because it was just an asset reminder it was say don't look back you're not going that way I think it's a great reminder for all of us we're not going back we're going forward so when you decide to become um, a entrepreneur and to have your own business you really need to bear in mind that it's not gonna be easy and it's not only about the being up all the time and happy and smiling and everything is working. There's going to be a lot of also failures and things that are not going to work out for you. And you're going to have days like I had now that I'm not, you are not in the mood to, to do anything. But that's okay also to take some break. Like that's what I've done. Like I said, I'm going to just lie on the couch and I'm going to do nothing. And just by doing that, some ideas came to my head and then I found myself taking my phone and taking my laptop and working again. So really find what's right for you and what's worked for you. But I guess if I look at this podcast, the reason why I'm recording it is because I really want to share that, you know, the other sides of becoming an entrepreneur. Um, you don't always know necessarily what to do and always what's right for you. Uh, but I guess that's in general in life. And you are trialing and checking things. Um, but what helps me is that I also have a supporting group that if I need to, I know who to go to, um, which is something that I'm super grateful. And I know that if I need the motivation, I know who can give it to me. Um, and that's something you need to find. But find this. Find the why. Connect to your why. Why you do what you do. And just remind yourself that you're going to also have moments like this, that you're not going to be in a good place. But you're going to go through them. And you're just going to grow from them. Um, and that's the nice part. Because like I yesterday, by just doing these videos and this real thing and everything, I broke another record on my YouTube channel. So I was super excited. Like I've got so many views now. And it's still growing. Um, 
So, you know, like at one moment, like I'm down and at the other moment I see like a, a certificate of like the amount of viewers that I've got. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited uh, and all this. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of becoming like a bipolar. <laughs> I actually look at myself yesterday, but that's part of it. And that's part of the journey. And that's why I really love doing this podcast because by me actually chatting to you guys, to ever listen, I'm actually chatting to myself on the same time and I'm just by speaking to you and recording this, I'm reminding myself the why, why I do what I do, why not to give up, why to keep on pushing, um, where to get my energies back and just to follow that. So sorry if it was a bit depressing, <laughs> but it is important that people will learn to share as well the bad side and the negative side and not only the positive side. But I want you to know that you are not alone if you're experiencing this. Um, and that's okay. And that's okay, you experience this. We all have our moments. We cannot be on, like, the top all the time. And, like, someone once told me that luck is, like, AKG, you know? Like, if it's going uh, too high, it's not normal. If it's, like, straight line, it's dead. And if it's up and down and up and down, so there's some movement in life. So we're all going up and then going down, but from the down, we're going up, and it's a cycle that keeps on going forever and ever. Um, so find what's right for you. My previous episode was also about how to find your motivation and how to be more motivated. Uh, so you're more than welcome to listen to that as well. Um, and I would love to, yeah, to get my next one to be a bit more uh, cheerful. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, I'm but thank you guys for listening because now I actually clear my thoughts. So thank you for that.